Hey guys, Betty here at Carbonously Delicious, featuring low-carb and keto-friendly recipes, such as this delicious breakfast casserole, a perfect way to start your morning, an ideal dish for your next brunch, and I promise you're gonna love it. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to join us on our journey to a healthier lifestyle. And to all others, welcome back, family. Meet you in the kitchen. Welcome, welcome. Betty here with Carplessly Delicious. I am so excited that you are tuning in today for this delicious casserole. So let's dive right into it. Let's take a look at everything you're going to need to get this in the oven and on the table in no time. Well, let's start with our vegetables. Yes, we are keeping this dish healthy and nutritious. So we are replacing those high carbs, unhealthy potatoes with our low carb alternative, which are these delicious turnips. Taste just like potatoes without the high carbs. And also our mushroom here. We are using onion. Our bell peppers, red and green bell peppers, and of course our parsley to garnish our dish with because y'all know I like my food to look beautiful. We are also using eight large eggs, shredded cheddar cheese, our seasoning to add flavor and spices, and also our meat to savor it with those natural fats. Yes, we will be using our smoked beef sausage along with our uncured bacon. So, without further delay, let's get this dish popping. We're going to start by prepping our meat. We want to trim down our bacon and sausage into bite-sized pieces and get them into the skillet. Drizzle a dab of extra virgin olive oil or either avocado oil, just enough to lubricate the skillet to give your meat time to render. Once it renders its natural fat, the juices will come. Make sure we toss and rotate our meat around frequently as it cooks. Over to our turnips. Let's go ahead and get these peeled and cubed. And again, these turnips are substituting potatoes, allowing us to eliminate the starch, high carbs, and calories that come along with potatoes. And besides, who's going to know that these babies aren't potatoes unless you tell them? Because to me, there really isn't a difference. It's the same texture and the same taste. As you're cubing your turnips, you want to make sure that the sizes are consistent like this so they'll cook evenly. And there you have it, quick and easy prep. We have all of our veggies diced into generous sized chunks here, not too fine. Our turnips, red peppers, green peppers and onions ready to saute. Layer the bottom of your pan with olive oil. In goes our veggies. Just slide them all in. Meanwhile, back over at the ranch, let's check and see how our bacon and sausage is going on over here. Mmm, coming along good, smelling good. Let's rotate and give it a toss. Okay, it's been a few minutes for our veggies and they've gotten slightly tender. So now we can pour in our bacon and sausage, combining all this flavor and juices with our veggies. And now that we have everything thoroughly mixed together, we're gonna flavorize it with some seasonings. Yes, let's do it. In a small bowl, blend together equal portions of turmeric, 
sea salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Mix it well. In goes our seasoning. Give it a good stir to distribute all this goodness evenly throughout your skillet. Guys, your house should be smelling marvelous right about now. This is when folks are drawn to the kitchen and ask what's cooking. Go on and tell them I'm cooking a breakfast casserole, healthy and nutritious. Doesn't that look so good? You can just stop right here and dig in, but don't do that. Don't do that. Go ahead and cover this, reduce the heat to medium low, cause we're not finished yet. Once our turnips become tender enough to pierce with a fork or a toothpick, it's time to add in our mushrooms. Now we saved our mushrooms to later because we don't need that much time for them to cook and we didn't wanna overcook them. ingredient guys the eggs we're gonna crack open all eight of our eggs and give it a good whisk this is important guys to whisk and to whisk away and just not to merely mix your eggs the longer you whisk your eggs the more air you allow into the mixture and the more air creates a lighter texture and a lighter texture makes your eggs fluffier you can also add a little water or milk to also fluff up the eggs. Okay guys, we can start to layer our bacon dish. Start by filling the dish halfway with your contents. Top with a layer of shredded cheddar cheese. And then go ahead and add in the remaining of the mixture and spread it evenly around there. And finally, y'all, we can go ahead and pour in the eggs and let it run between and throughout the mixture. Push down on your veggies and top it with a final layer of cheddar cheese. We can go ahead and place it uncovered into your preheated oven set at 375. And here you have it guys, look at there. Doesn't that look delicious? Eggs fluffed up nicely, beautiful golden crisp on top with the cheese still sizzling. Mmm, I'm gonna dive right in. I'm diving right in. This is loaded, fluffy, cheesy breakfast casserole. A complete meal packed into one single dish. Mmm, mmm, mmm. we thank you for the delicious meal we are about to receive. May it be nourishing health and strength to our physical bodies. Grant all who are viewing divine health as we strive to become better stewards over these earthly temples. In Jesus name, amen. Mm, mm, mm. I hope you enjoy this as much as I am. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try this for yourself. While your guests at your next brunch, remain positive, be blessed. Until next time, videos are uploaded every week. Meanwhile, head over to check out some of my other great low-carb and keto-friendly recipes. Peace and blessings.